Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I am back with another helpful diabetes video. Um, these videos are my personal experience and not to be used as medical advice. Um, okay, so I made a video the other day about how not all correction um, boluses were created equal. And I talked specifically about the auto mode correction bolus and how sometimes it's short, you know, what your correction bolus would be if you were not in auto mode. And that's good, bad, I don't know. It's just something to be aware of. Um, so this is another video about a different kind of scenario and it's not specific to the 670 or auto mode. Um, it's This is just specific to the Bolus Wizard. So I don't know how many pumps use the Bolus Wizard if it's just Medtronic, but um, this is to the Medtronic Bolus Wizard and I have seen this for a couple of years. Now maybe everybody knows about this, I don't know. Um, I am late joining the good diabetic party, so. Um, you know, but I have seen this for a couple of years. I just couldn't put my finger on it. And after talking to a Medtronic representative during a trading session where I tried to call it to her attention and had her tell me it does not exist, that's when I finally set out to prove it to myself, not to her. Um, and I finally got it. And so now I know I'm aware and it's fine. It's just something I do have to consider on a daily basis. So that is the, your correction bolus. Um, that you get out of your bolus wizard, um, but it relies on how you put your information in. I'm gonna talk about myself, how I put my information in. Um, so what I have seen happen over and over and over again, and I could prove it if I needed to do a bolus right now, um, is that if you put in as they recommend, okay, so that's, a bit, that's one big uh, part of it. If you put in your, um, your uh, current blood glucose based on a meter and then enter your food bolus, whatever it is that you want to eat, your bolus wizard is going to cal calculate your correction bolus plus food bolus and, and combine it all into one bolus. Sounds great, right? Now, um, if you happen to put in your food bolus before you put in your current blood glucose um, which is how your bolus wizard calculates, calculates your correction, your bolus wizard is going to give you a different correction bolus for all of the same information. Um, and it's going to give you a far smaller correction bolus, depending on what you're putting in, but it can sometimes be a couple of units smaller. And I figured out why. Um, and I'll give you an example in a second. But what I have figured out is that your bolus wizard can be tricked because it is not able to differentiate why you have insulin on board or ha or how long it's been on board. Um, so if I put in my blood glucose first and I give it a chance to calculate the bolus and then I add my food bolus, it's going to give me my full, my full bolus, both correction and food. If I put my food bolus in first, so now I have insulin on board. Let's say I put in 15 grams of carbs and it gives me one and a half grams of carbs, one and a half units, um, and then I go back and put in my correction, um, put in for my correction, put in my current blood glucose, it is going to subtract that 1.5 on board because it can't figure out that I have that for food. It just knows I have it on board. So it's gonna subtract that and it's gonna short me one and a half units of insulin. Um, so I'm gonna give you two scenarios. I'd love to do this with my pump. It would make it much easier and much more convincing. And one day I'll get that. But for today, I have two scenarios I'm gonna try to run by you. Okay, so pretend you are at dinner, or I'll say, I'll pretend like I was at dinner. Um, I go, I sit down, I test, my blood glucose is a 200. Um, I'm about to eat carbs, I'm about to eat 50 grams of carbs, which is okay for dinner, uh, no problem. So for, to make, to keep it simple, I'm gonna go ahead and use our factory settings, which are that my insulin carb ratio is gonna be one unit to 10 grams of carbs. So that would be five units of insulin, I'll get right there. Um, and I'll go ahead and go with a sensitivity factor of 50, meaning that my blood glucose drops 50 points with one unit of uh, insulin. So with those numbers, I'm able to calculate that my correction at a 200, let's say I'm going to 150, would be one unit. It'll lower me 50 points. And my food bolus of 50 grams of carbs would be five units of insulin because it's one to 10. Okay for a total of six units. Okay, so I put in my BG, I put in my food, I hit deliver bolus, it gives me six units. Now let's pretend for a second that I've sat, I've sat down to eat, my, my um, sensor glucose, my SG on my pump shows a 200. 
but I don't have my tester at the table. We're getting ready to eat. I'm starving, right? And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and start my insulin really quick, and then I'll jump up and grab my thing and test it, you know, whatever, and do how they want you to do. Okay. Um, I enter my 50 grams of carbs first, my five units first. Then I go 10 seconds later, and I, I get my tester. Um, I put, I figure I am a 200. That's confirmed. I enter that in as my current BG. Now, instead of calculating one unit to drop me for that 50 points to get back to a 150, it gives me zero for correction because it says I have five units on board and it's not going to give me another unit of insulin because it thinks I'm covered. So because I reverse the order, even if I do it 10 seconds apart, it's going to give me five units of insulin instead of six. Now people can say, okay, it's a unit of insulin. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. But first of all, if you're watching your sugar, one unit is for real. Um, and second of all, it's not always one unit we're talking about. So I'll give you one more example, and I see I'm at six minutes, um, but this is good stuff. It's worth knowing. Okay, now my uh, sensitivity factor is actually a 35, and my insulin carb ratio is actually a 1 to 7. So I'm going to take a similar, a similar scenario. I don't know why I made it a 220, but I did, okay? Um, keep in mind, I'm at a 35 sensitivity factor and insulin carb 1 to 7. So here we go, I'm waking up in the morning, um, I am exhausted, but I'm organized, I go ahead, I calibrate, I put in my blood glucose up a 220, I know that's high, but we'll just go with it, okay. I put in a 220, um, I know I do insulin for my coffee, I do 32 grams of carbs for two cups, and I do it all bundled together, I did really fun coffee videos about this, um, but I'm gonna do that 32 grams of carbs at one shot, um, upon waking and my blood glucose is a 220. So I enter the 220, it's gonna give me a correction of a 2.85. Again, that's on, based on 35. Um, my food bolus is gonna be about a 4.5. Okay, that's for 32 grams of carbs for my coffee. My total, my total bolus is gonna be 7.35 units first thing in the morning. Okay, that's with the correct order. Now let's pretend I'm waking up and I'm a human being and I'm just exhausted and I don't know where my tester is, I, or my, I'm at a test strips or whatever it is, and I have my cup of coffee and it's ready, and I just say, you know what, I know I have to do insulin, I can't go without it, so I'm gonna do my insulin and I'll just figure out the rest in a minute, okay? Not even 10 seconds later, it makes this, this much of a deal, difference. Um, okay, so I enter my 32 grams of carbs first, which is gonna calculate 4.5 uh, uh, units of insulin. Then I go back, I've had one sip, I'm like, you know what, just do it. I get up, I find my tester, I enter a 220. It gives me a zero correction, okay? So again, when I put the BG in first, it gave me 2.85 units. But now because I have 4.5 units on board with my food bolus, it says you have that insulin, you don't need any insulin for that high, you're covered. I'm not covered. I have insulin on board to cover the food that I'm about to uh, eat, drink, whatever. Um, but I've tricked my bolus wizard into thinking I have the insulin to cover it. Um, so, so it gives me 4.5 units of insulin and I am missing 2.85 units of insulin to, insulin to start my day. So when you're walking around and you're like, my sugar is hot and I don't know, I'm doing my insulin, I'm doing my, like, I don't have any idea. This might be a part of it, and like I said, maybe everybody knows. Um, it took me a while to figure it out. I like to think I'm an investigative genius, um, but maybe everybody knows. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'm sorry this one was nine minutes. Bye.